Welcome back to my channel. So in the last video, we discussed about how we can, we can handle missing values in our data. We looked into univariate feature imputation techniques. So what we did last time, we looked at the age column in the titanium data set and we did some simple imputation. What we also did is we developed some simple models uh, and we tried imputing the age column using the mean strategy and the median strategy and we looked into how different models are performing with the different strategies. Now uh, we discussed about multivariate uh, feature imputation techniques also last time but we haven't tried it yet. So in this video we will look into multivariate feature uh, missing value imputation techniques. So one of the techniques which is quite famous and it's part of the scikit-learn library is called KNN imputer library uh, or the KNN imputer uh, function. So let's look at the data once again. So we have this data, we have different variables uh, and we are currently focusing on age and fair column for our models. So look at, let's look at the data. Let's just understand how the data looks like. So we'll import the KNN imputer module from the scikit-learn library. So let's look at the uh, documentation. So essentially here what they are doing is uh, it's an imputation techniques which look at the entire distribution of the data and based on the entire distribution it computes uh, nearest neighbors for each data point and based on the nearest neighbor it computes the missing values. So it has various methods in which it can compute its nearest neighbor. So one is the uniform weightage where it will give uniform weightage to the, all the number of near, nearest neighbors. Uh, and then there is distance weighted based basically computes the distance to each or, or or all the n nearest neighbors and based on the distance it will assign how importance or how much importance should be given to that neighbor uh, and it also has one more hyperparameter which is called the number of neighbors so we can choose uh, different values of these uh, number of neighbors and see how our models are performing for different values of number of neighbors so we'll do a small experiment so what we will do is we will compute, uh, we will do a missing data imputation using KNN imputer and we will try doing this with let's say 10 number of uh, neighbors and we will use the uniform weightage and again the same strategy we will use the age and fair column and we will look at the uh, mean of the accuracy. So let's look at the uh, accuracy. So for example as you can see if we impute the age column with the mean, uh, with the uniform, uh, with 10 neighbors which are filled uniformly, which are distance weighted uniformly. So we are getting a 67.2% accuracy with a standard deviation of 4%. So as you can see, if you look at the previous models, this number is slightly uh, better than the previous model. So you, you can say that we are improving by a slight margin. Now what we can also do is we can see which value of the near number of nearest neighbors and how that is performing. So what we will do is we will run the model uh, for different number of nearest neighbors and see how the mean uh, of the distribution of scores looks like. So what we can also do is we can look at the box plot and see how the box plot looks like. So you can see uh, for some values uh, we are getting a slightly higher number and but with, with the large number of neighbors the distribution is going to expand a like slightly more. We can also look at the maximum in terms of all the values so it's 67.11 and here it was 67.22 so very similar. Uh, now the other thing which we can do is we can use the same uh, number of neighbors but this time we can use the weighting strategy as distance so let's see how this performs uh, and again we can we can use the same cross validation strategy and see how things are performing uh, and here it's 66.43 which is slightly lesser than this one so i think with the uniform weighted strategy we're getting a better number we are getting a better performance so this was our introduction to missing data imputation and uh, we will continue the series and uh, talk about various strategies and techniques for handling data and uh, missing data etc. So please continue watching this video and if you like this kind of video please subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching this video.